Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Novus Tech, and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a network monitoring solution or NMS called NEMS for Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. Now I've actually played around with this during the Raspberry Pi 3 days and it actually worked pretty well back then. And I decided to give it another try on a Raspberry Pi 4. And since we've been doing a lot of home server stuff, this is no better time than any to present to you guys a network monitoring solution. So we're gonna be taking a look at this operating system called NEMS Linux, which stands for Nagios Enterprise Monitoring Server. And I'm not even sure if I'm saying that correctly because I can never say that word, but yeah. This is a all-in-one solution where it's just an image that you can download right into your Raspberry Pi or Pine or Orange Pi or Odroid, whatever you got. And it's basically all set up to monitor your network. So if you have something like a, a router you wanna monitor, a PC you wanna monitor, you could tell if it's gonna go down or you can monitor the hard drive space, anything that you wanna monitor within that network all in one central location. And this all provides it for you for free, as well as could give you like notifications if you need any. You could get an email telling you something is down at your house or location that you're trying to monitor. So first head over to the NEMS for Raspberry Pi and this is where you could actually download the image. Now their website's a little bit slow. I'm not ranting or anything, but I'm just saying it does take a little bit to get there, but I've already downloaded and installed it onto my Raspberry Pi. And all you have to do is get the image, load it up with Raspberry Pi Imager, and you're basically set. Now, if you haven't seen my video yet, I do have a video on setting up a Pi KMS, and that's where I'm headed to right now. And you could see on first boot, it's actually gonna give you your IP address. So you don't have to really go into your router to search for it unless you want to. But it's not ready yet, you still have to pre-configure it. So one of the things is if I head over to 192, the IP address that it's given me, it's not ready yet. I can't do anything unless I run a script. And I'm going to head over there. Either I could go through the console, which I have set up over here. So I'm going to SSH over to that IP address with nems admin at the IP address. And the password is nems admin. So it's nems admin, nems admin. And in here, uh, that's a little weird, but let's do sudo nems init and here you just have to go through all the settings what country you're from or where you're from stuff like that sets up the time that's all locals that's fine us that's fine regular keyboard i am using other which should be us and us english that's fine, that's fine. It's the normal setup that you would normally do, be. What would your NEMS user name be? So I'm just gonna call this Pi. Oh, I can't use Pi as, mm, I guess Don, my generic password. I'm not gonna send it to an email address, but you can set it up here, but you could also reset it up when you get it back into the browser. Okay, that is basically it. If I re, uh, reload this website, control R, which I just did, or F5, it should be able to load into this website and it has a different configuration. And from here, you can configure everything. Like, like I was saying, monitor your other Raspberry Pi or your Synology server or whatever you got, you can monitor it just to see if something's on or off. Uh, now that everything started up over here, what we wanna do first thing is to pop over to the end config. That's where you would add all your host and how you wanna monitor certain things. Uh, there's a tutorial online or there are write-ups on how to do everything on what host you want to add, how you want to add it, what you want to monitor, like C drive space or memory. It's all in this website that you could add. So I don't know what you really need, but I'm just going to go through the absolute basics, which is adding a host to see if it's alive. So I'm going to go over to host and click on the add button over here. And I'm just going to name this router. And this is also router. Now the address of my router is 192. There you go, 168.105.1. Uh, the operating system itself is Linux. Technically I could do router, but it is a Linux operating system. And I'm gonna do a generic switch. Monitored by, this is important, you need this, which is default, Nagios. And that is basically it. I mean, I could add this stuff in here as well. Uh, generic switch, because it has a template here available. And available to what group, which is admins, and you are an admin. And that is it. Parent host nems. There's only one selection, so it's basically 
uh, moving over to the next one and submit now once you're done with this it's gonna pop over to here you can leave this alone because what I'm really am checking is just the ping to just to see if it's up so I could just leave this alone and um, I'll head back to the home over here and you can see now I have NEMS which monitors itself and then it monitors the router that I just put in which is the dot one now once we're done configuring all the hosts that we want we will want to generate the config file and once it's done you hit deploy now that's it you go head back to your NEM server and in here what you want to see is reporting now we could uh, use a mobile UI, the TV dashboard, tactical overview, but TV dashboard is more like full screen on the monitor. And that is it. You could see that my host is up and this is zero or down. And if there's any problems, it will pop over here. If the CPU usage is too high on the Raspberry Pi or something like that, you would get your services problems issued on the bottom. This way you could fix whatever you need to fix as soon as you can. Now, let's see if i could actually pop into something and make it go down so i'm gonna go over here go back oh, go back to my configurator add another host and i am gonna turn this host into uh kms no kvm so kvm that's my raspberry pi kvm and i know the address is 192.168.105.89 .105 it is Linux, it is also a Linux server monitored by this guy, and it is a Linux server monitored by admin, and the host is still NEMS, so I could just leave it like that. And that is it, submit. And what I do wanna add into this is basically, I haven't done this in a while on this Raspberry Pi, so I'm, I'm having that little bit of an issue here. That's what I gotta do for the ping. And then, generate the file deploy and if i go back to my tv system refresh this it should see three if i unplug my kvm it should detect as host down so give me a second all right so here we have it uh, after the refresh of 30 seconds it will pop up that i'm unable to actually ping that device and it's critical because it's down so this alerts me to basically uh, fix the problem or whatever it is. And also, if I set it up to email me, I would get a notification in my email saying that, hey, something is down, this is what's down. So that's what these are used for, especially for a home environment. These are great. So I know I didn't give too much detail onto configuring this because you can actually find this all in their manual on what you can configure, how you can configure certain things. And again, I'm not familiar with how your network is set up, but a basic thing like setting up a ping or something like that is pretty simple. And if you have a home, small office or a home office and stuff like that, this works just as well. And it's very, very valuable to anyone monitoring their network. Now, if you ever used anything like Centrion or PRTG, it's basically that. And you know what? It's a small image that you could put on a Raspberry Pi. So I would definitely give it a try. Anyway, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.